This lesson will be about Greek and Latin roots from Unit 3, specifically focusing on odd, vis or vis, struct, photo, and therm. Our first root is odd, which means to hear. Our first word example is auditions. If we take a look at the picture here, you can see some people singing or playing instruments, a stage, a stage which is with celebrity judges, and a dance audition sign. Well, what does this have to do with hearing, because it has the root odd? Well, at an audition, you will go to a place to perform by either singing or playing instruments or perhaps dancing, and judges will decide whether they would like you to be part of their program. For instance, down here, these people might be auditioning to become part of a school or part of a special program. Down here, the voice has celebrity judges who decide by hearing you sing if they want you to be on their team. Dance auditions are auditions where judges will decide whether to let you into their program. It could be a musical or it could just be a dance performance. Now, interestingly enough, usually at a dance audition, the judges will most likely see you rather than hear you perform, but this word is still used um, in for dance auditions. Our next word is audible. Ible is a suffix. It means able and can do, and odd means to hear. So this word audible means that you are able to hear something. So here we have like a megaphone loudspeaker so that it can make your voice audible from a far distance away. We have a picture of Audible, which is a website that has downloadable books that will read to you so that you can hear them. And just a picture showing that Audible has something to do with sound. So Audible means that you are able to hear it. An audience. An audience's job is to listen or hear a program. It could be an orchestra, a band, a play, or a musical, but they are listening to what is going on. Now, just kind of like the dance audition as well, audiences will also see what is going on, but the word has the root odd, which means to hear inside of the, inside of the word. Now the audience sits inside an auditorium, which is a place that you go to hear a performance. Notice the audience in this picture is only sitting on the second floor. Our next root is photo, which means light. And our first example is photograph. Graph is a root, which means to write, and photo is light. Well, a photograph is capturing the light in an area and, in a sense, writing it down on paper, which is what becomes a photograph. Photosynthesis. Synthesis means to create, and photo is light. So this word here has something to do with creating something from light. Well, photosynthesis is a process where plants will take light energy, carbon dioxide, and water to create food for a plant inside of its cells. In that process, oxygen is released out in so that us humans can enjoy that and continue living. <laughs> so photosynthesis is the process of using light to create food for plants and oxygen for us. Our next root is struct, which means to build. First example, instruct or instruction. All right, so it has the root inside of here, means to build. Instruction or instructing someone, you are trying to build knowledge in someone. Example over here, we have an instructor, which is a person who instructs or is trying to create or build that knowledge, in this case, on how to scuba dive. You might use an instruction manual to teach you how to do something, or you might have an instructor or a teacher to just and show you how to do something. So building knowledge. We have the word construct, which means to build. 
So construction here is the process of building something like this house here. The opposite of construction is destruction. Now struct does mean to build. Shun is a suffix which means the process of. But D is a prefix which means down. So it's kind of like an opposite prefix here. So this word destruction means to take down what was already there or to destroy something. So sometimes we have houses or buildings that are old and not safe anymore. So um, they will destroy them or take them down and use create something new. So destruction, the opposite of building. Our next, uh, next root is therm, which means to heat. First example, thermal image. Now, this is not just a really cool technicolored picture here. This is a um, picture or an image of a, um, the heat in someone's hand. So a thermal image will measure the amount of heat that's in different areas, and the different colors represent the different amounts of heat in that area. So thermal image. Thermal vision goggles are kind of cool because they can allow you to see the heat in objects. I kind of think they sort of make you look like they're aliens, but they're kind of cool looking. Thermal vision goggles. And one more thermal image just because they're pretty awesome to look at. Here I have a picture of an elephant and you can see the different levels of heat um, inside of the elephant. Thermometer. All right. A meter is a root which means to measure. It's a unit of measurement. So we are measuring the amount of heat in something and that is what a thermometer does. It is a tool. So here you have a thermometer which measures your heat inside your body if you're running a temperature and a thermometer which measures how much heat is outside. Now even if it's cold outside it is still measuring how much heat is, in, is there. It's just not very much heat. Thermal pajamas, definitely a good thing when it is cold outside. It's made of special material designed to keep the heat inside or keep the heat near you. Thermal pajamas. And of course, many of you bring a thermos to school. A thermos keeps the heat inside of something to keep it warm, like coffee or tea or SpaghettiOs. Our last root is vis or vis, which means to see. All right, so vision, we have the shun suffix, which means the process of, and we have vis or vis, which means to see. So vision is the process or the act of seeing something. So we have this eye here, it's all about seeing. And because we were talking about thermal goggles before, I threw in a picture here of night vision goggles, which allows you to see um, the little amounts of light magnified at nighttime. And it's a pretty cool looking night vision goggles there. Television. All right, this is a device that allows you to see moving pictures, which we all quite enjoy. And our last example of Vise and Viz is invisible and visible. What's the difference? Well, ible is a suffix which means able. Viz means to see. So if something is visible, you can see it. The opposite of that is invisible. In is the prefix which means not. Ible is able and viz is to see. So this word means not able to see it. And our example here is the phases of the moon. Certain times during the month we can see the moon. It is visible. And at times we cannot see the moon at all because it's a new moon and so it is invisible at that time. All right, those were our five roots that we learned roots that we learned this uh, video. Remember odd means to hear, viz or vise means to see, struct means to build, photo means light, and therm means to heat.